if you make concessions, when that 75 day comes, you're not going to be proud of yourself. The uncomfortableness and the deprivation is what causes the result. We need to talk about 75 hard. Hey guys, it's Laura. So I don't know about you, but I've been seeing 75 hard popping up all over the place. Now these are my opinions, but spoiler alert, I personally don't like it and I don't recommend it to my clients. So in this video, I want to talk about what 75 hard is, why I don't like it, and provide some recommendations for you to consider. So if you haven't heard of 75 hard, this is a program that's meant to improve your mental toughness and your self-discipline. In a nutshell, you have to complete five different activities each day for 75 days. The activities include drinking one gallon of water, sticking to a diet, and no cheat days, no alcohol, reading 10 pages of a self-help book, taking a progress photo, and completing two workouts, two 45-minute workouts at that, and one of them has to be outside. And the kicker is if you don't do all of these activities in one day, you have to start over at day one. I wanna first mention that the requirements for the 75 hard program aren't inherently bad. In fact, we could all work on being more consistent in our health and fitness related goals. But there are a few issues I have with this program. The big one, it's not sustainable. And I get it, it is not supposed to be. You're supposed to be getting out of your comfort zone and developing the skill of self-discipline. But I think you could do this in a way that allows you to adopt and really stick to just a few new behaviors at a time and then build on from there. So this is my big overarching issue with the program and let me dive in a little bit deeper. I personally think that this program introduces too many new changes at once. As somebody who works in change management for a living which focuses on the people side of change, change is tough and I think we can all agree on that. Introducing too much change at once can lead to change fatigue. While this was meant to be a positive transformation, this could lead to frustration, burnout, and even resentment. I also think that this program is too rigid. It leaves no room for randomness. For most people, 75 hard would have you going from zero to 100 with no room for life to get in the way. And when life does get in the way, because it inevitably will, you're much more likely to get discouraged and fall off the rails. And this leads directly into my next point, which is potentially encouraging an all or nothing mentality. The idea of having to completely start over if you miss any of the aspects of the program can certainly lead to a sense of failure. It's basically saying that if you're not able to complete your second workout of the day, but you complete everything else, that's not enough. While I get the challenge and the commitment aspect to this, I don't think that this is a particularly healthy mindset to carry forward. I think that we should be celebrating the things that we did and the things that we made time for, especially when life gets tough. I like to remind people that something is better than nothing, and in the long run, aim for progress over perfection. Another issue I have with 75 hard is that there are no rest days. And while this program specifically states that it is not a fitness program, I personally think that doing two workouts per day for 75 days with no rest days is just not a good idea physically or mentally. For a lot of people, just getting one workout in per day is challenging enough, and we still need to incorporate rest days. Your body needs to recover, and I get it, in this program you could be incorporating active recovery days and considering those to be workouts. That's fine, I'm on board with that. I would argue that the average person has a difficult time listening to their body. And if you're doing two workouts a day and not listening to your body with no rest days, you're much more prone to injury. Not to mention the all or nothing mentality that you may begin to associate with fitness. I think the emphasis should be more on movement rather than workouts. And if you're getting a decent amount of movement in throughout the day, that's a healthy habit that's worth developing. My next issue is the emphasis on an inflexible diet. Yes, focusing on eating healthier is great, but let's talk about this no cheat meals thing. I personally don't like the concept of cheat meals. It suggests that some foods are inherently bad and should be avoided at all costs. And don't get me wrong, there are certainly foods that are better for you than others. But if you eat those foods that maybe aren't so great for you once in a while, that doesn't make you a bad person and it certainly doesn't make you an unhealthy person. In fact, taking that not so nutritious food out of your diet completely may make you want it even more. And deprivation can lead to eating in excess. 
Food is an important part of culture and society. Have you noticed that food is part of the vast majority of holidays, celebrations, and social gatherings? I think having a more flexible diet that allows you to fit in the foods that you love, as well as find a healthy balance between nourishment and enjoyment is a better practice overall, and that'll serve you for the rest of your life. And my last major issue with the 75 hard program is there's no focus on stress management. In fact, you're adding even more stress into your life with this program, and that's probably the last thing that you need in this day and age. For a lot of people, the stress of doing this program perfectly on top of all of life's other stressors can have some health ramifications. We've already talked about how having no rest days and doing two workouts a day is a little problematic and it can lead to injury, but there's also the inflammation in the body. So add that to the pressure that you're putting on yourself to do everything perfectly, and then on top of that, add life's other stressors. And I think we all know that stress can wreak havoc on the body. It's much easier to manage the stress of making small incremental changes that you can build on over time versus making a bunch of big changes all at once. I also know that there might be some people out there watching this who have done the program and think that I am entirely wrong. Let me know in the comments down below what your experience was like and how it changed your life. And I'm also willing to put my money where my mouth is and do 75 hard for myself, experience it, and tell you what I think. In my opinion, this is an advanced program for a small portion of the population who's ready for it. So before you dive into 75 hard, there are a few things that I would encourage you to consider. To start off, I think the two biggest questions to ask yourself, why do you wanna do 75 hard? And what makes you think that this is the program that's gonna help you change and develop the skill of self-discipline for good? A few other things that I would consider include, how much stress do you have in your life? How is your relationship with food and with fitness? And do you have all or nothing tendencies that might be triggered? If you wanna work on self-discipline and building better habits, I encourage you to go about it in a more sustainable way. What I would recommend is starting off by choosing one or two things that you wanna incorporate into your day that are a little out of your comfort zone, but you can commit to those things even on your worst days. And this could look like having a minimum step goal or incorporating breathing or meditation into your day. To help make those changes stick, you can create a habit tracker or even do something as simple as setting a daily reminder on your phone. And then when you've got those habits down, you can add a few more things into the mix. And this doesn't mean that you can't incorporate other habits during this time. Of course you can. But I think that starting out with one or two things that you can commit to no matter what will give you some quick wins and it'll help you build your confidence, especially as you start to add on more things into your day, into your routine, into your life, as you continue on through your journey. At the end of the day, it's up to you to figure out whether 75 hard is right for you. And I'm willing to offer a free 15 minute consult call for anybody who's interested in doing this program, but they're not 100% sure whether it's right for them. We might determine that, yeah, you should go for it. Or we might determine that there are some things that you could do that might be a better fit. So if you're interested in that, feel free to shoot me an email or reach out to me on Instagram. And with that said, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.